Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the battle for Astrakhazi. So both the Night Gaunts and the Dragon's Rejects had great successes against the clan zone in the south and they managed to drive the clan forces off. However, the small forces that did remain decided to move north and attack our main headquarters. So the only people we had in the area were the first Astrakhazi militia. So we quickly rushed them in to defend. All right, so here we are at our main headquarters base. Okay, I'll pull back from the chopper for a bit. We got some more vehicles coming in. Uh, we had taken down the turrets for maintenance and we so our engineering crew is now on the way up to restore power to the turrets so we at least we can get some defense here. So hopefully after we take out the remainder of these clan units we'll be uh, freed up to go after the uh, to find the um, the uh, Star League cache on the planet. All right so let's move our guys in here. I did try and find the uh, sound file for the choppers but apparently I, I'd looked online too. Apparently it's kind of baked in. I don't know. Maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. If anybody knows, please let me know. But I did some searching, and they said that they did reduce the sound level. It does sound a little quieter, um, but I'm not going to reduce my game sounds overall just because of that. Uh, okay, so let's figure out. I know they got more than two guys here, so let's figure out who else they have. Let's move the AWACS over here. Copy that, Commander. Don't want to get too close. If this thing gets shot down early, we're in trouble. So. All right, so that's not bad. Who do we got over here? Looks like it's a lot of wheeled vehicles, which is probably good, because if we can pick up some vehicle parts, that'd be great. That's chaff. What do you got on you? Energy. Missile. Most likely, let's add some chaff to... What do we got? Sorry. Sensors and chaff. We're going to add chaff to this guy, so hopefully uh, he can't hit the base. Nope. No love on that track. Yep, no love on that Ready strike. So I think we're gonna uh, we're gonna reserve. Good to go. Or are we? No, we're gonna move up. Um, let's get you up here. On my way. Double time. And we're just gonna launch the grenade. We're just gonna use the grenade launcher. For some reason, the grenade launcher generally has a better chance to hit. So we're gonna use the flare on this guy. On it. Okay, looks like we hit him. He's illuminated. At least we'll have a better chance to hit him. Okay, we got two turns for those vehicles to get up here. Uh, we're going to reserve. So, I don't remember Roger that. what Standing by. Um, What was the last episode with these guys. I probably should have looked it up before I started recording, but I had so much going on today uh, when I got home that um, and in the past little while that I just I decided just to get jump right in and record so I could have something up for tomorrow. Let's move into here. So I don't know if you guys have seen this enforcer build. So I got a rack five on this thing now on one arm. ER medium and a large laser on here plus some bolt on rockets. So yeah, I mean the the loadout's actually not that bad. I'm gonna go to four. That's a lot of ballistic. Most likely machine guns. And we'll just fire on this guy. Oh yeah, man. Nice hits. Nice hits. Orders. And this guy's got a pair of MML launches. Now I can't remember. I had another episode recorder for these guys. On the move. That I was gonna play previous to me um, attacking the clans down south, but when I went back and reviewed the episode, it really wasn't that good, so I decided not to post it. Um, but we have a pair of MML 9s here with some Artemis ammo. We've also got uh, Thunder ammo as well uh, on this thing, plus Hydra. So we do have a wide variety of things we can use with this thing. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and we're going to use some Thunder down here. Because chances are um, what's going to end up happening is that... Yeah. Um, the next unit of clan forces will probably show up down here as well. So I'm hopefully so hopefully those rounds will uh, pay off over time. I don't want to get too involved with using mines with this particular playthrough. Um, but if we want to go up in difficulty and try and just maintain a couple of mechs, mostly vehicles, it's going to get more and more difficult to be able to just get away from not having to use tricks like that to survive. Receiving you. And yeah, I call it a trick. It really is a trick to survive. 
All right, can we get? Oh, well, we can get you into there. All right. No shooting, just run. Get their MSR. Get them uh, MRMs in here. Now they probably got two other guys somewhere. Clan units generally don't drive around. We got lots of ammo, so let's take a pot shot. Um, clan units don't drive around in groups of three. Usually it's five. So. All right. I want to thank everybody for all the great comments too. Been reading everybody's comments um, for the different uh, individual units and stuff, the different p potentials for loadouts and playthroughs and things like that. So, if you guys want to see me, uh, oh, are you gonna take how much damage are you gonna take? Twelve. Okay, that's not bad. If you guys want to see me run a diff idea. like different kinds of loadouts or whatever, different kinds of playthroughs, let me know. Um, so next week when I start recording, things are gonna change slightly because we'll. Pretty much be done with this area of Astrakhazi, so we're going to be moving out again oh, against um, clan units and not clan units, um, pirate units on the planet. While we look for the, uh, I'm going to have a large laser shot. Yeah, let's just do it. Hopefully, we don't hit our guys in the back here. Twelve percent, we'll take it. Ooh, nice. It's nice that we got a lot of damage on this APC early because these things usually have a lot of armor. Yeah, a fair bit of armor. Like, if you think about it, 120 points of armor in one location is the same as like a 60 ton mech. So, here. like a, a torso of a 60 ton mech, right? That's a little... Well, let's see what your chance to hit is. 25? Sure. Ooh, we got one more on there. Once again, we're shooting from the front and hitting the one side. Yeah, another vehicle up there. We might be able to get a kill on this thing. Aye, aye. We gotta get you... Okay. Not the most optimal positioning, but if we can get a kill on him... Hopefully we get a hit. Of course, we get two hits, and they're not on the side that everybody else hit, right? The right. Where do we hit the front? Of course, we did. Yes, commander. Um, let's go here. Copy that. And this should kill this guy if he moves. So if he moves, hopefully he's dead now. Uh, yep. All right, let's get the AWACS up here. I got you. All right, now. Uh, tag arrow, 50%. A little better on this guy. Let's go after this guy. So we got, what do we have? Chaff and sensors, right? Sensors gives us a better chance to hit. And he's got a half decent amount of armor. Let's go with sensors on this guy. Actually, you know what? Let's go with chaff. Let's make it harder for him to hit. Okay, tag's on. Barrage is on. Beautiful. He's going to take that this turn. Here comes our turrets. Excellent. So this is a one and a half skull base defense. Should be pretty easy to, to handle this one. The reason why I didn't show that last uh, one that we did was it was so... I don't want to say ridiculously easy. It was against the clans as well, and I wanted to, to do that whole clan thing. But um, hey. the mines, we had a turret that laid mines, and it murdered them. Like, I mean, I like there were, I, I thought for sure when I saw what was coming in at the very beginning, they had two lances at the very beginning, I thought for sure we were going to lose. Um, which I've done in several of these base defense episodes. I think we're going to lose at the, at, the, at the beginning and end up coming out on top. But, um, let's go after these guys down here. Move on out. But, um, yeah, no, I thought for sure we were going to lose. And then I, I didn't look at what the turrets had on them. I'm going to hang on to these bolt-on rockets. We're going to fire the rest, though. There we go. And one of the turrets had a bunch of mine dispensers on it, and it laid uh, just a stink ton of mines Receiving in uh, one area. And it, it was like the, the whole thing was in the, like the, the battle took place in the desert. I don't know if you guys know that the map, I'm sure you, 
if I showed you the map, you'd remember it, but it's the one where there's a valley and the vehicles kind of come down the valley to the base and the base is kind of like in this depression, whatever it is. And anyway, um, so the enemies, um, let's go ahead this way, high explosive, sure. He's not in the minefield. Nice. Um, anyway, yeah, the, they all came from the exact same location. So even the even the waves that came afterwards came from the exact same location, and what it ended what ended up happening was they all went over the mines, and all of the light mechs just got completely wrecked, Roger. to a point either they lost their legs and fell over, or was just or just stood there, and didn't move, and then were killed. So it it really wasn't that exciting. So I, I decided not to go for it. Come on, I'm hit shooting from the side basically on this guy and I, I'm hitting the front or something now. Come on, finish him off. No. Anyway, yeah, they got wrecked horribly. Like, horribly. Yeah, beautiful. Mine's did what I wanted. Yes, command. Okay, we can't see this guy. Hmm. It's so strange to be playing this mission and not being able to get targets on anybody. No problem. Alright, we'll just pull back here and brace. Good to go. Alright, let's move you up here. Roger. That guy over there is fresh. Let's go after this guy down here and maybe apply some more damage to him. Locked on. Nice. Yeah, so it just really wasn't that exciting of a mission, and it was mostly, most of that, most of that mission was me ranting over how broken minefields are. At, at low levels, honestly, they just are broken. They're just completely broken. I mean, look at the, look at the spread of those mines. Watch the damage on this guy. He went one, two, three, four, five, so about five or six hexes, and I can't see how much damage he took because it's focusing on the building. So this guy was not targeted. LBT5. Or sorry, LTV, sorry. Okay, he hasn't been hit yet. Okay. So there you go. He's took it he took 44 damage to the side, unless you know. And 22 to the front. Uh 22 there. Yeah, so he took double damage to the side. So that's like a lot of damage for low level. Like ridiculous. And if you just have a one mine layer with lots of mines and all you do is lay mines, you can just win the match. So they're just broken. The the distance that these travel like this is just completely broken. So at least that's the way I feel. Maybe I'm wrong. I got bomb mines here too. I'm not going to use them yet until we find out where the real bad guys are coming from. Anyway, that's just all. That's okay. just how I feel. But I, I, <laughs> I spent half that episode ranting about it. It's probably better that I don't do that, though. Targeting. Ooh, large lasers are hitting well today. Hitting well today. As long as they don't hit me today, too. What's up? So I've also been taking stock of um, all the mech parts we've been getting. And uh, we're going to create some some more onboard units because when we when the uh, dragons rejects and uh, the night gods move on to um, nice when they move on to um, standing by looking for the uh, the star league cache we're going to have to um, okay going to lay some more mines down Locking here we're going to have to leave some units behind to defend. So we picked up a bunch of mechs. Um, so I'm trying to, to trying to create another like another unit or two for like uh, like offline like as for potential playthroughs for defending Understood. missions to just as filler episodes. Um, so yeah, I'm working on that right now too. But the primary playthroughs are going to be the dragons rejects and um, the night gods, obviously. 
and we'll slip in a few missions like the Airbies will, the Airbies will be back, these guys will be back. We'll have a couple of older, older units. What I want to try and do is try and do like a, uh, a unit that's like that's using fine. older tech equipment. So rifles and things like that, just to see what they can accomplish, you know? If anything. Attacking from position. All right, three hits, not bad. All right, they got more guys coming after this. Nice. Yes, Commander. Okay, let's get you here. 26, eh? Gonna go with standard, see if we can get a shot on this guy. Let's crank this to five. Actually, I'm gonna leave this off because we'll catch ourselves in the flare, and that's a bad idea. Target acquired. All right, couple points. Couple of points. Receiving you. Once the pilots get better in these guys. God, we're staying away from direct fire with this guy, eh? Here we go. Once the pilots get better, some of these weapons landing are going to be devastating. Uh, yeah, let's fire everything. All weapons, fire. All right, not bad. Not bad, we'll take that. This guy's got to decide what he's going to do now. Nice. So 10 damage. Not that much down that, that, that way, but a lot up here. I'm picking up a new sensor of course you are. Like enemy oh, they're coming down here. Two full units. Okay. That's the first time that's ever happened with me. Usually when the reinforcements come, they come wherever the original guys are. Usually, well, not usually, but it just seems that way, but the past little while they haven't. Um, time to do your job. Don't get killed, though. Affirmative, Commander. You are here for a reason. We got a swordsman. Four copters. Count wow. Phoenix Hawk 1R and a gladiator. All right, well. Let's get away from the sound. Um, am I t too far away for the bomb mines? I am. Wow, I have to be like r right on them to use these things. Well, let's just drop them here. Here we go. So that's going to be a nice thick minefield that they got to walk through. But look at that. Like, that's ridiculous. Each hex is what? Like, it's got to be more than, it's got to be about 10 meters, right? 30 feet? So that's like 50 feet. One, two, if it lands here, three in every, pretty much three in every direction. So, yeah, 30 meters, 100 feet in every direction. Waiting for orders. Might seem reasonable in, on a real world scale, but, uh, Actually, let's do this. Let's get up here. Location confirmed. And while we have the chance, um, let's do this and that. Shit, it'll get rid of some of those mines. Let's land it there. Firing. It was off a bit and we lost a few mines. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I knew the risk. So we're going to uh, flush out those bomb mines with the second set of attacks from the uh, mobile turret. Now I got enough um, parts to put together another mobile turret, which I might do. 
ready for orders. Uh, geez, that, that guy's already gone. Okay, perfect. So let's just move over here. Roger. Go after this copter. And hammer him. All right, not bad. Not bad. So somebody pointed out, and I apologize. Once again, I'm terrible with names, and I will eventually get to remember most people's names at some point. If you keep commenting, I'll start to remember your name. Um, but they mentioned that the MRMs aren't affected by clustering, which is something I never really realized. I probably should have, because they're unguided rockets, right? So they're technically not affected by clustering. So using like an Artemis system with um, an MRM is like a waste, right? Position confirmed. So it's something I'm going to have to keep in mind for the future, like the trebuchet, we're going to have to work on... Um, for the Dragon's Rejects, we're going to have to pull out the... Uh, the... Um, okay, that's a miss. The Artemis system. And because the clustering is not helping it. But we could go with a missile range fire control system. Nice. Excellent. So we could go with a missile range, which will increase the range, because normally they're like, what, 540 meters? Coordinates received. Let's get on this guy. Um, push to SRM. Yeah, we just have the Artemis. So we're going to go with this on this guy. On it. Ooh, see ya. Reporting. Enemy vehicle eliminated. That was nice. Yeah, man, hit those guys. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Get him, get him, get him. Unless they have got artillery down there, they, they, those guys are not going to be destroying our base, so. Um. Let's move to here. No problem. We're going to jack up our AMS. We're going to put it on overload. We've got the AMS Mark II on this thing, so it was this guy that was hit, right? The Ripper? Yeah, we're going to shoot this guy down. Fire. Nice. Vehicle crash. Excellent. So I'm really only going to be looking at vehicle parts for salvage from here. I think I'm going to try and stay away from clan specific units. I want to try and keep this like um, something that like a local defense force would have. I know it's technically not realistic, but what do you need? Uh, I need you to try and kill this guy. You got the firepower, let's light him up. If you can see him. I guess we just try and pursue him. No shooting, just running. Got it. I'll try and get on him next turn. Four, eh? Well. Affirmative. Got the ammo. Wow, we hit once. That's not bad. Nice. That's basically what I want these mechs for, is to have those, you know, variety of weapon systems that I can't get on vehicles, like having the AMS Mark II. Um, I'm having a hard time finding vehicles with AMS on them, like a Mark II AMS. So things like that, and then, you know, running sensors and things, so we kind of have to have mechs for that. And then we'll flesh out the vehicles based on what we get too, right? So. Okay. Let's get up here. I ask Skipper, full speed, no target. Take it up the hill. Oh, we got some targets. We got some targets. Long fire. Tag, tag, arrow. 
Let's drop the missile rack on him. Sure, why not? Put him on the Phoenix Hawk. He's got a PPC on him, so. Tags on. Nice. A little bit of damage. Beautiful. Scrambling up his sensors. Beautiful. We're going to put some mines down here right next turn. Good to go. All right, now we'll put some mines down there. Move order received. All right. Drop them right here in the center. Affirmative. Broken. Just too much. So 15 in each leg. And he only moved a couple hexes. But you can see what I mean about th that being a problem for light mechs, right? Alright. Yeah. Yeah. What can I do you for? Moving to position. This guy's already gone, right? Yeah, he went on 22. So this guy's got a lot of energy. This guy's got missile and energy. Let's see if we can at least try and get a kill on this guy. Wow. Couple hits, that's it, eh? I'm out of short range missile. Ouch. Yeah, you better run. Oh, he's just trying to take a shortcut. You tricky bastard. Friendly structure Crap. Destroyed. What now? Let's get this guy. Locking and locking. Do your job. You an AA tank? Take him on. Let's go. Four points, you moved in one hex. Yeah, what can I do you for? Okay, same idea. Let's get on this guy. Oof, terrible chances to hit, but... And nothing. Alright, we'll take the one hit. Receiving you. Better than nothing. Okay, move to position so those guys can't target me, and we'll target the same guy again. 32%, that's not bad. Alright, six hits. Commander. Move order received. I don't think I can hit this guy with a thunderbolt, can I? I can. <gasps> really? Oh, it's high explosive. Let's just go with standard. Nope. I don't think the HE would have done anything anyway. If I had missed. I figure HE is probably your best bet if you don't have a really good chance to hit. Because at least when it splashes, you know, you'll do some damage. So he took 24 damage to the legs there. And he moved forward like three hexes. It's just broken. I know I was complaining in the past that it was like you couldn't do enough damage. Now it's like too much. But I think, I honestly think what they need to do is compress the area that it drops in. So the hex that you're on plus the hex is around and increase the damage just slightly. Engaging target. So. Ooh, nice shot. So it costs them to move away from where they are, but they're only going to take one set of damage. So. Maybe the mines go off, you take like 12 damage or, four, or 24 damage from the hex that you go through. But then the rest of the hexes, you're, you're clear, right? Confirm. Because right now, like, the, like if, um, oh, I gotta move farther than that. Which is weird, because I don't have to be, I don't have to move in the same direction, I just gotta move farther. Which is very strange. Anyway. Let's go after this guy. 
Yeah, I'll just use the chaff on him with the tag. At least the tag's on. Nice. So yeah, I mean, like if you if you consider this the minefield, and then you walk, you take 24 damage from this. It doesn't let the enemy walk into a minefield and then keep walking through it and taking ridiculous amounts of damage. It still remains on the board, so if other units move through it, then great. But then you have to you have to tactically think where you're going to put it. You know, or if it's going to be this big, make it like one ton per for this shot. You know what I mean? Commander. Because on it, this just I, I just I just I fully believe that's broken. Affirmative. It just shouldn't be like that. Let's drop it here. Target confirmed. I'm out of long range missiles. I had a little bit of extra mines, but not very many, but that's fine. He takes 18. Something I can do. Guy's not gonna have any legs in a second. Yeah, let's kill this guy. Oh, you want some of so I've been firing the rack at four shots per Return. turn for about Enemy five turns now, forward. roughly. I don't think we fired on turn Enemy one, did five. we? It's been doing well. I'm kind of shocked. Uh, yeah, standard and flare. Copy that. Enjoy it, guys. Inflicted some heavy damage. My present to you. Gotta be a way to just turn off the helicopter sounds. You need me to hold still for you? Ready for order. I've been looking for the file, guys. If anybody knows okay. where it is, please let me know because it's got that's gotta go. That and the uh the sounds for the um Who do we go after this guy? The sounds for the uh, lambs. Nice. All right, what are you up to? Going after a whole other building. Can you take care of him, please? You don't even need to move. Just shoot him. Just shoot him. When you got standard, right? right? We're gonna hot load it. Fuck it. Firing. All the way. Yeah. Took damage, but that's fine. Standing by. If it was on a mech, we'd have to worry about it. Moving to position. Okay, let's go after the Phoenix Hawk, I think, probably. Alright, couple leg hits, that's nice. Target's taking a critical hit. Hey. Hey, listen. Okay, see if we can take the crapple master's leg off. Yeah, we go. Nope. Not today. 27 points damage. It's just so broken. And here I am going. <laughs> I suddenly stop with the minefields now. Come on, buddy. Finish yourself off. Yeah, he's finishing himself up for us. This is the AI trying to calculate. He's decided to walk, but as soon as he moves, he's going to lose his leg. Nope. Only took one. Okay. Only took one. Skipper. All right, buddy. 
Get over here. Let's get a shot in the Crapple Master. Okay, sensor scrambled two of those guys, that's nice. Yeah, leave it for the leave it for the pros, guys. We'll get we got that guy. Hopefully he doesn't blow up one of our buildings. There ya. Twenty three more. So broken. We'll try and take that guy's leg this turn. Commander. Looking for some parts. Parts is parts. Alright, we can't get who can we we can only get the guy at the back, eh? Oh wait, there's a nice solid line. We'll take that. Okay, rack is still going. And fire. Engage. Trying to find the sweet spot with this thing. It's not bad. Commander. Just give it to him. Let's not blow up our LRM I though. Oh, not enough. Nice. Yes, it was. Pilot ejected. Let's get over here. And then let's get on... How much has he got left here? 25? Let's go after this guy. Um, yeah. There we go. Target neutralized. A little bit of salvage. Stuff we can sell. I want to crank up the... Um, I'm really trying to... Nice, 13 damage on each leg. Really trying to crank up the amount of mechs... Or sorry, vehicles and mech slots I have for these guys. So I can get... Uh, as like I want to try and get field 12 units with these guys before anybody else. And my, my, own, my only reasoning behind that is... Uh, right, he's not on the ground, is he? That's fine. Engaging. Enjoy it, buddy. Reporting critical hit. Because I want to try and have like uh, two, two mechs or three mechs, and nine to ten vehicles. Because then, oh, with that, wow. at least with that number of vehicles, we'd have a better chance of handling some of the higher level content. I mean, we still need to get, like, better vehicles and stuff, too, obviously, but... Maybe things are looking up. That guy's still gonna hang in Red there, is he? Orders. Gonna hang in there, is he? Cannot get a target on this guy, eh? Well, let's just get up here, anyway. On it. Get some more height. Hopefully that guy will reveal himself, or we'll be able to move into a position next turn. Something I can do. Yeah, can you can just finish up this cattle master for me. There you go. Mech destroyed. Well, thank you. Well, thank you very much. He didn't take any damage. Nice. What's up, Fox? Uh, we got direct line of sight, so there's no point in moving. Really good chances to hit, too. Gonna go after this guy's leg. Alright. I mean, he's only got a large and a pair of mediums, but he might have a good cockpit or something on him. I doubt it, but you never know. Oh, okay. Piece of cake. Get eyes on somebody. Excellent. This guy over here is hidden from everybody else. Let's go after him. And firing. Well, we've got two turns after this. I don't know if we're going to have enough to pull him down. Commander. If we can't see him, we can't pull him down.
Can't get a line of sight on that other guy, eh? Alright, well, we'll just shoot from here. Let's just go after him. Roger. Nice. Goes his leg. Solid. My old mama can hit harder than that. I think we've got enough then to take out that last guy. We've got a couple of uh, shots left of high explosive. That should help a little bit anyway. I'm just really shocked at a one and a half skull fighting against the clown, the clans. It's like really lousy uh, mechs. Okay. Hey. Hey. Let's go after that guy though. Moving to position. Just gonna shoot him straight up. Okay. Or not. Of course, I miss. Yeah, you know. Yeah. If you keep saying bullshit things like that, you're gonna miss all the time. Got it. Ooh. Okay, three leg hits, it looks like. That hit something good. Sure did. Alright. Standing by. Get you back into the battle. Let's sprint it over here. Close the gap a little bit. I think you're probably not... Well, yeah, you'll probably move next turn. I was going to say you might not have to move. Just stay there and shoot. But if we can get some more height next turn, great. Okay, a couple more hits. That hit something good. Hopefully if he stands up and tries to move, loses his leg. Because we can't really... Got a shot on him. Let's get over here. Bottle down. There's this big hill right here that just hides all these mechs. Ready to rock. Alright. I haven't shot at this guy yet. I'm kind of shocked. I'm on him. Ah, we missed with the arrow, but that's fine. Got the tag on him. That's what I really care about. And he's still in the arrow barrage radius, so. Receiving you. This guy's still knocked down, right? Sure is. That was a leg hit. There it is. Hostile removed. Excellent. Right here. All right, firing on this guy. Report critical hit. Yes, commander. All right, just gonna move up. Heading out. Drop some rain. Drop some LRMs on this guy. We might get him this turn. Ooh, head hit. Nice. Standing by. Better chance to hit. Ooh, nice. Target's taking a critical hit. And if we hit, Standing hit, we do more splash damage, which is always nice. All right, let's burrow through this guy. Here comes those nasty MRMs. Eighty percent chance to hit. There it is, folks. Mech destroyed. Excellent. Mission successful. Alright. Let's see what we get out of this sucker. Alright. Uh, ah, sure. This is the... was a copter. was a spotter. We need five pieces. So, LVT-5 has got what? ERPPC and an SRM-6. 136 front, 95 side, 75 rear. It's not really that tough. Pegasus 2C, better armor, slightly. Pair of SRM6 streaks and two ER smalls. I think we wanted to stay away from the clan vehicles. Polymos, I think these are clan, aren't they? Or no? Probably not. 172 front, wow. Five heavy machine guns and four light machine guns. 
They're clans, though, so we'll stay away from those guys. Rippers, we don't have to worry about. We do have a very similar mech or uh, chopper and storage. It's got a Gauss rifle, though, so. Swordsman parts. Vector was what? Um, yeah, like completely light chopper. Okay, AC5. Regular ER PPC. Uh, we don't have one. I'm going to drop it in for now. And I know I should probably be grabbing all the clan stuff, but um, like I said, this is not the clan playthrough, so that's kind of, that kind of stuff is going to be left out for now. We'll probably get those guys, the mediums. Medium pulse magna. Um, I don't know. Looking for stuff that's going to sell. These guys sell really well. Clan active probe, as much as I want an active probe, but can't use it because it's clan. Uh, 265 core. Oh, XL will take for money. Now, fire control system Artemis. Machine gun. SLDF cockpit. Eh. Regular Pharaoh. We've got two, so we don't need any Guardian ECM. We don't have any, so that might be worth taking. What else do we have down here? Anything, any kind of interesting ammo is what I should be looking for, I think. Primitive cockpits, reinforced structure. SLDF sensors. We've got one of them, so we don't really need any more. Fusion cores, this is always a hundred grand if you take one of these. AC5 ammo, we don't have any AC5 ammo, LRM, SRM, Artemis, got one left over. Uh, hmm, interesting. Stuff I'm probably going to use in the future then. So the Guardian ECM, we'll take that. Alrighty, we got two LBT5s, or LTV5s, sorry, Pegasus 2C and a Vector part. Going to sell the clan gear, keeping these guys. Uh, let's hang on to the small laser. We might use it. So this is clan stuff, 145,000 each. We'll get rid of those. Standard armor, we have some. 70 core, we have one. 125 core, we don't have any. I'm going to hold on to that because if we put together the second mobile turret, I might make it a little faster, so we'll use this one. The 165 can go... XL can go, Feral can go, because we've got enough of that. Jump jets. We don't have any, but we're not going to be using any, I don't think. Reinforced structure we'll hang on to. SLDF, we'll hang on to this. We've got one. Might as well hang on to it in case we have a pilot eject or something. This can go, and this can go. Beautiful. So that's not a bad little haul there. Not a bad little haul. All right, guys, so after defending our HQ, there was a couple of smaller outlying areas, civilian areas, that have gone dark so we're just assuming that they were taken by clan units so we're just going to move out hopefully clear them out and then that'll be the end of these guys so let's just go ahead and do that now we're starting up in the hills here what's the fastest way for this mobile turret and the mechs to get there probably this way Move order received. don't really have that much speed so let's Move just get position. these guys up now we don't have a full complement here we did leave some of our guys back at the main base Affirmative um just in case, you know, there's a uh, counterattack or uh, the whole reason was to draw us out. So we're down to uh, six units here, which is just fine. Now we do have, on the side note, uh, this is a one and a half skull blackout, in case you're wondering what it is. Um, on a side note, I was able to buy another um, uh, mech slot between the... Um, between the deployments here. So now I've got uh, the ability to drop two extra vehicles and one extra mech. So that means we can have a total of nine units on the battlefield. In a normal battle, that is. Seven of which will be vehicles, and the rest will be... Well, the other two will be mechs, so we have to go down this way, I think. Moving only up. way to get there. It's the only way to fly. Get you over here. Keep pushing forward. So I tried to opt for mostly armor over firepower 
from the uh, vehicles I chose. So, um, just because I don't know if we have to deal with with turrets here. And with blackout missions too, it's like there's this randomness to them where you never know what you're gonna get, right? I copy. Let's just slow. Uh, no, we gotta get to a minimum distance. There we go. Let's just slow down a little bit. Doesn't look like there's any turrets here. Oh, yes, there is. I was gonna say, it doesn't look like there's a turret there, though. I wonder if this. There's two options, really, usually. Either one of two things will happen. One, mechs will drop at this point. Consider it done. Uh, or two, this will be a a uh, ruse. Nothing will happen. Let's get you to here. Coordinates received. Location confirmed. Um. Incoming forces of unknown origin. Uh, what? They do have turrets. So these are enemy. I'm rolling. Okay, get as much evasion as you can. Alright. So they do have turrets. It just didn't look like it from where I was sitting originally. So they got a quad gun. Ballistic. Who knows? Gossam placement. So that's the one that has to go first. Alright. Who do we got here? What do we got? Ready what do we run. need? Well, what we need to do is kill this turret first. Let's get into here. I got you. Uh, somehow we destroyed something by flying over it. Sure. Totally believable. Uh, let's leave this off because it'll drop at the end of the turn and it won't matter. Um, yeah. Engage target. I gotta have confidence that we're, the rest of the guys are gonna blow it up before it can do anything. It's going on seven. Orders. All right, buddy. If anything, I want him to shoot you, so let's not move very far. Let's get the rockets on this thing too, because F it. Let's dial it up to six. Yes, no armor left. Beautiful. Short range missiles gone. Orders. That's right. This turret gone. Move order received. We got Artemis SRM sixes, so this guy's toast. Beautiful. See ya. That turret is gone. That turret is gone. It is gone. Quad gun. Let's just move to where this guy can't see us directly. I have no idea what's in there. Probably not a lot, but you never know. Gonna go with a hot load on this. Alright, that's pretty good damage. Pretty good damage. We'll take it. We know they're gonna go after you. Can we get a point blank arrow shot in this? Or thunderbolt shot? Um, not really. It's a lot better on this guy, so let's go ahead and use this guy over there. Well, at least he's illuminated. Good to go. Alright, two dog. You got lots of armor too, so let's get into here. Two dog and the bulldog. Let's fire at this guy. Kind of crank this up though. All right, laser hit. Beautiful. One less cover. You got that right. 
Fuck the clans! Don't let the night clans hear that, though. Don't let the night clans hear that. Reporting. So, Ultra 2. Ultra 2s would be nice. Skipper. Ultra 2s would be nice. So I have heard back from a bunch of people. They're saying that I should be... I should go up with the... Um, um, Night Gaunts, not Night Gaunts, sorry, the uh, Dragon's Rejects will take it up to the next level. So I'm going to try and build the Heavy Lance out of that, that unit. It'll be lower end heavy, higher end medium. Right here. So, um, so yeah, we're going to bring the Rifleman forward. Uh, most likely we'll bring the, um, let's just go after this guy. We need to go full. Let's go full out. Why not? Nice. Target's taking a critical hit. Uh. Waiting for orders. Let's get into here. Moving out. Yeah, we'll bring the second sixty ton. Not the long. Not the. It's not the longbow. What the hell is it called now? Fire. You know me in names. I know what it is. Hellbringer, obviously, since we got that thing fixed in the repair bin right now, but um, on the move. It's not the long bow. Is it long? It's long bow, right? No, I can't remember. That's a whole lot of nothing. My old mama can hit harder. Aye, aye. Such a wide variety of weapons. On my way. Really, eh? Alright, we'll hot load it, sure. Good damage. Good damage. This has got a lot of armor, though. Oh. One more. Commander. Alright. Large laser doesn't have a minimum range. Let's move in. We're getting a fair amount of large laser hits between this battle and the last battle. Excellent. I'm kind of shocked overall that um, we're hitting this that often with the uh, large lasers. Copy that, Commander. Let's start heading to where we need to go for the next section here. Uh, we'll leave this off. Copy that. I don't think we need to expend that ammo on this thing. I'd rather save it for uh, potential mechs in the future. Commander. Let's go full sprint. Not very far, is it? Not very far. Uh, which one's better? Ooh, the LRMs are better. We'll go with the Artemis. Going for the kill. Laser hit. Nice. Target's taken a critical hit. Yes, Commander. Yeah, with the mobile turret, this this unit is not very um, mobile. Aye, aye. That makes sense. So the, I may try and leave the mobile turret behind for for uh, base defense missions. Affirmative. Nice. Move on to the next base. Turret destroyed. I need to flush these guys Boy, out. Major armor loss. What? We took a couple points of damage. You're talking about major armor loss. Punk. Alright, let's get going. Rotary's jammed, but that's fine. Trying to minimize our own base damage here. So yeah, I want to try and get um, uh, a few varieties of mechs. So the mobile turrets and stuff we could have for base defense missions. And then, I mean, the enforcer's okay. Enforcer can be used for things like escort missions and things like that, but for anything that we want to do, like um, yes, Commander. like fighting in the open and stuff, we want to have some mobility, so On the move. I might try and grab um, a few more heavily armored uh, copters, plus some like 40 ton, like a cicada or something along that line, like a little faster mechs, out. so that um, On the move. they can keep up with the vehicles. Copy that. Because the vehicles are just slightly faster, you know? I'm there. That way we can move together as a unit. You got it. Let's 
Because even the Enforcer is just a little slow, you see? Position confirmed. And obviously this guy's slow. Location confirmed. Roger. Don't go too far. On my way. Okay, we're gonna slowly start slowing down here. You got it. And go to there. So yeah, picking up a cicada would be nice because they're relatively fast. That's 40 tons, so I mean it's got a half decent amount of uh, weight. Ooh, don't get too close. Move order received. Location confirmed. Wait for the mechs, and we're gonna move forward into the tree line here, I think, probably. Alright, one more turn and we can go. See how far you can get. Good enough. Good enough. Let's just make sure that the... Uh, let's get you to here. Since we know where these guys are going to come from. It's a little bit of a cheat, but whatever. I remember the first time I played this. The enemy mechs were hidden in the buildings. And I thought that was so cool. Alright, AWACS. Get you as far as we can get you here. Let's get up this way. I'm there. All right, vehicles protected by the trees. Nice. All right, let's see what happens here. That's it. No, what do they got? It's an urban lance. Really? Oh, come on. At one and a half skulls? Okay, whatever. They do have a good chance to still... Uh, Destroy some buildings here. No. They are not within range of the bomb mines. Oh, there's lots of them though. Five of them. Got a stealth, stealth bee. R25, all right. Wanna just ping them? No, because they haven't moved. Oops. Activate the bomb mine so we can see where they can land. That's actually not bad. Right there. Perfect. I don't think it could have gotten any better. I mean, it could have if this guy was standing on mines, but the other three are just on the, just on the cusp. I should just stand back to see what happens, yeah. but... They've got they've got range to the building, so we can't do that. And we got to move full speed here because if we don't, they're gonna be uh, getting us here. Let's go for the back shot in this guy. Let's go four so we don't jam. That's not bad. Good to go. Not a bad amount of hits. Going full throttle. Okay, let's uh I would be amiss to not do this. Engaging. This could be a perfect example of how broken this is. Let's just see what happens. If they move forward and like almost lose completely their legs here. Twenty five. I think they've got 50 on their legs, so they're pretty, uh, they're pretty hefty, I think. It's an interesting loadout, though. It's the energy build on that guy. Yeah, see, like, he's down to 7 on each leg from 45. So he took 38 per leg. And he moved, like, just a handful of spots, right? Oh, I thought that was a hot load, and I bet you got damaged. It did. It's good to go. It did! Alright, well, let's just target the guy that we 
I know he's moved. Confirm. Well, there goes that. Not much armor left in that. Ah, I really hate that guy. <laughs> Not much yeah. armor left in that location. Oh, it had armor. It just doesn't have it anymore. Copy that. What do you think? Can we give that guy the fuck you? I think we can. Taking the shot. Nice. Nicely hit. I don't know where we hit though. Probably the arm. Well, they haven't taken any buildings down yet. That's good. Nope. Torso hit. Nice. Oof. Nice. It's a solid turret. This guy's got a Par Paralerm 15s. Alright, we still have a chance to kill them before they can destroy any buildings. All we need is a Mind Dispenser turret now. Goes his leg. All those juicy double heat sinks going to waste. Goes his, his arm. Alright, who's going what here? Alright, Comet. Um, we'll choose once we get there. Choose upon arrival. I think we go after this guy though, because at least the arrow will hit him. Nope. Well, it comes down at the end of this turn. We're outside it, so he will take a hit on it. What's up, boss? Can we get a? Oh, we don't need to get a direct fire shot. We can just move up a bit. Affirmative. And we'll drop it on this guy. See if we can claim his leg. Oof, not this. Let's go with Artemis. I mean, I could drop more mines. Target sure. Reporting critical hit. I'm just interested to see how much damage these guys are going to take now. It's a good experiment. Fuck, there goes the building. So he's taking 50 damage in his legs. I have no idea on this guy. This guy's taking... 25. 24. It really is, uh... Yes, command. It really is broken. Damn, the rack is down. Alright, well, let's see if we can claim this leg. Yep. That was pretty accurate, too. Both of the, both of the uh, lasers hit that. Kind of shocked. Okay, rack's unjammed. We gotta get this guy right here. Next turn. He took ten more. Yeah, see, he's not really moving that far either, right? So... That's why he's taking so much. Or so little, I mean. All right. The flare going on these guys. Yeah, if you and your lerms. Yeah, he shot his load last time. All right, let's take care of that. He's pretty much given it to us, so let's take it. Just go standard so we don't destroy it. There we go. Goes the leg. 
I think he's got stealth armor. If he does, we may want to grab that. As long as these guys don't freaking destroy it. Fuck them. Oh, he had tandems. That's interesting. Oh, well, that's right, because it was doing three through armor damage. That's right. Ow. Um. What? I thought the... Did our barrage go off? Or what? I, I don't know. Confirmed. I missed something somewhere. I'm sure I'll spot it in editing. I don't even know. Don't even know what to say. Alright. Attack this guy though. Tags on. Nice. Order. Do we take the chance? I think we do. On my way. This guy's got an ace. This is the guy with the AC20. I think we need to go after him with extreme prejudice and try and take that armor. I know we're overheating, but I think we got to get rid of that uh, 20. Got there we go. Inflicted some heavy damage. I'm generating yep. a lot of heat, Commander. Yeah, I know. There goes his leg. Standing by. I think too, if the enemies had the ability to clear mines, if they understood that using the PPC would clear the mine or something along that line, it would be a little bit more fair, but it really isn't. On I mean, I could be fair and not use them, but... Orders. Eh. They're in the game. Hopefully they'll, uh, they'll fix it. I think maybe what I'll do is I'll remove them from this playthrough, though. Until we get, until we're at the point where, um, maybe if the enemies are using them a lot against us, I might switch back, Ready but I think I'll pull them out for this playthrough. I'll do that af after this. Got back it. up here. I'm liking this Bradford, though. Let's go on this guy. Locking on target. Nice, 71 damage. Illuminated his ass. Good. Yeah. See ya. I have no idea how much it says 15, but it, that was all he had left in his leg. I have no idea how much damage this guy took, though, from it. Nice. Come on, bail out. Want salvage out of this, baby. Bail out. I'm not taking any urban mech parts. Ready for orders. Okay, we should be able to just take that leg. I got nice. This guy's pretty reliable. Gotta say. Mech destroyed. I'm kind of shocked that this guy's that reliable. I mean, I shouldn't be, but. It's nice that he's that that reliable, you know, that he can pretty much hit when I know when I need him to hit. All right, we'll turn this one off and we'll switch this to. We're out of range for there, eh? Really? Wrong side. Or was it? Doesn't matter. There it is, folks. Mission successful. All right, 156,000, which isn't bad. Um, see what we get here. Now, I did bring the Scorpion forward too, the large laser slash machine gun version. I wonder if I should take an urban tank. 
Nah, because we got it in the Irby playthrough. We don't need it. Don't want any of those parts. I'm sure we're going to get them, though. Uh, we do have an AC-10. LRM-15s we don't have. Donald PPC. Fire control system energy accuracy. We don't have any, but I believe we have one in one of our mechs. Anything else? Oh, double heat sinks. Double heat sink kit. Do we have any of these? We don't. So let's drop out these guys. This guy. Um, sensor disruption applied in AOE. Stacking ECM jamming of one. Area effect damage. So we'll hang on to that, but I think what we're going to do in this particular choice is grab the double heat sinks. It's not often I've been seeing these with this playthrough, so grabbing those would be nice. UAV would have been nice too, but mm, that's fine. Alright, we got two urban tank parts. Like All these parts are going to get sold, so I'm not really worried about it. Oh, we can put together an urban mech though. Okay, so that's the ballistic one. This is the... the L is what? 60L, that's the AC-20, right? Yeah. And the C is what? The AC-10? Oh, it's replaced with a MG. So it's an, it's an AC-10 with a machine gun. The R8Q is what? This is the missile version, right? No. This is the PPC version. Right. So we might do something with that. We did get one of the LRM-15s. I'm going to ditch one of the 4s because we've already got one. So this will give us two. Armor can go. Basic cockpit can go. Improved fire control system we'll hang on to. We didn't get any extra double heat sinks. Okay, those, we got the UAV though, so that's excellent. We'll keep the AC-10 ammo. Um, yeah, so I mean, not too bad. All right, let's have a quick look at the mech bay here before we go. I want to put together that urban mech just to see what it could possibly give us. So let's go to storage. Once it comes up here. Come on, there we go. Storage. So we can, so we got the mobile turret and the urban mech, but we can't put together... Yeah, we can't put together the L version. Yeah, see, we got a few of these parts from one of the other missions. I'm just holding on to them because... Uh, because we can go ahead and, um, if we can get parts like this and put them together, we can sell the mech and hopefully get some good stuff out of it. Um, yeah, so that's really not a lot. Let's hold, well, you know what? What version do we have of the mo mobile turret? We got the B version, so let's go to storage. And we'll grab the A version out. It's ready you just to see what we get from that. Confirm it. That mech gas Thank you. Is cleared for fighting. And then I, well, I think what I'll do is um, so this is the guy that's got the PPCs. You know what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to these. Because I'm sure we'll be encountering urban mechs in the future. And then if we get more of the R8Q, then I can use the parts from these guys to assemble it. Or do we just get rid of these guys now and then hope we can assemble one later? So this is the guy with the machine gun. Ah, let's bring this guy forward anyway. So we want to do this C, right? 60C? Yeah. That mech is ready to fight, Commander. So this is the AC-20 version. Alright, let's have a look here in the base. So this guy here, which we're going to get rid of, I just want to see if it's got anything. Ah, it's got nothing on him. Nothing of any value, unfortunately. Doesn't cost us anything. A couple of heat sink jump jets, AC-20 ammo, a lot of heat sinks. Ah, well. It's always a roll of the dice. You never know what you're going to get. Let's go ahead and just scrap this guy up. 
I'm only getting 50 grand for it, so it's not that bad. This guy we're going to keep, though, so let's have a look at him. Probably won't do anything with him right away. But at least we know what we've got here. Yeah, so Rack 5 Double Compact Heat Sink. So this is the guy that we got the Rack 5 of, I think. How much is that to fix? That's, not, that's really nothing to fix. It's got three jump jets built in, too. All right, let's just... Let's just get this fixed. Hopefully next time we come back with the vehicles, um, we might have 10 units oh, or more. So three three mechs and, you know, seven. we got seven vehicles right now. You know, so hopefully we can get... Um, I'm going to try and pull off a few more lower level missions off camera and try and get some more vehicle parts. Maybe get a couple more vehicles. Because, uh, so like I said, if we're going to do like escort missions or things like that where we need faster guys, I might just go all vehicles and leave the mechs out of it. But we do have one more vehicle in storage. We've got the yellow jacket, which, you know, is, you know, like no armor. And it's just got the uh, Gauss rifle, which has always been very spotty. A lot of the times it jams and then we it just thing, this thing just flies around and does nothing. So that's why I've kind of left it out. But you never know. We, we might get something up here. Maybe a copperhead. We got enough parts for a copperhead, but for whatever reason, it won't let us put it together. Light rifle and an SRM6. So it's really don't. Not a really. LRM10 and a medium rifle, so not really a big deal. All right. Well, I'm going to leave this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Love to always see those comments. Until next time, we'll see you later.